a pretty uh, familiar uh, story that you'll find in the Old Testament in uh, Second Chronicles, the twentieth chapter. 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 Amen. Second Chronicles, the twentieth chapter. We want to read uh, verses one through. 14. Yeah, and, uh, and then I'm going to read uh, verse 17. Amen. Amen. Second Chronicles, the 20th chapter, verse 1 to 14, and then verse 17. I'm going to read this from the, uh, the NRV. Amen. Can I have a please say amen? amen? If you need a few more moments, say hold up. And we're going to read. And it reads, start with the first verse. After this, the Moabites and the Ammonites, who were with some of the Midianites, came to war against Jehoshaphat. Some people came and told Jehoshaphat, a vast army is coming against you from Edom, from the other side of the Dead Sea. It is, at, it, is, it is at already Hazion tomorrow, that is, in Gedi. Alarmed, Jehoshaphat resolved to inquire of the Lord, and he proclaimed a fast for all the Judah. The people of Judah came together to seek help from the Lord. Indeed, they came from every town in Judah to seek him. Then Jehoshaphat stood in the assembly of Judah and Jerusalem at the temple of the Lord in the front of the new courtyard and said, Lord, the God of our ancestors, are you not the God who is in heaven? You ruled over all the kingdom of the nations. Power and might are in your hand, and no one can withstand you. Our God, did you not drive out the inhabitants of this land before your people Israel and give it forever to the descendants of Abraham, your friend? They have lived in it and have built it on a built it in a sanctuary for your name, saying, If calamity comes against us upon us, whatever the sword of judgment or plague or famine, we will stand in your presence before this temple that bears your name, and will cry out to you in our distress, and you will hear us and save us. And now here are men from Ammon, Moab, and Mount Syria whose territory you would not allow Israel to invade, they came from Egypt. So they turned away from them and did not destroy them. See how they have repaid us by coming to drive us out of this possession that you gave us as an inheritance. Our God, will you not judge them? For we have no power to face this vast army that is attacking us. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are up on you. All the men of Judah with their wives and children and little ones stood there before the Lord. Then the spirit of the Lord came to Jehaziel, saying, a son of Zechariah, the son of Benaiah, the son of Jezreel, the son of Metathenah, a Levite, and descendant of Asaph. As he stood in the assembly, he said, listen, King Jehoshaphat, and all who live in Judah and Jerusalem, this is what the Lord says to you. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army, for the battle is not yours. It, it is God. Verse 17. You will not fight, have to fight this battle. Take up your positions, stand firm, and see the deliverance the Lord will deliver give you, Judah and Jerusalem. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Go out to face them tomorrow. Then the Lord will be with you. Amen. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I just want to use just for a quick subject, just for a few moments. What to do when you're in a jam? What to do when you are in a jam? What to do when you are in a Jam, amen. If there's ever uh, a, a, a time 
that we could say that we're in a jam. I believe that it would be uh, in today's time. If we were to look uh, throughout the annals and the uh, portals of history, uh, each uh, age have had their uh, own share of problems, their own share of situations, uh, their own share of sorrows and things that they have to face. In other words, uh, each age had had their own share of jams. Amen. I'm not talking about the jelly jam. Amen. I'm not talking about uh, uh, any type of a, a, a sweet uh, situation, but I'm talking about your back being against the wall. Amen. When uh, we're living in a time uh, where there is uh, a pestilence, a disease that's running rampant, a virus, uh, the pandemic, uh, they call it uh, COVID-19, amen, that uh, what they thought was stamped out, but now it seems like it's gaining a second wind and it's, it's gaining strength again. Uh, that's a jam, amen. When you when you uh, go to the store and, and you're looking for a particular item and, and you're finding out uh, that the stores are running out of things uh, uh, a little bit quicker than what they're getting them, amen, because things uh, are not able to be uh, mass produced in the way that they that, that we felt that they should have been. That's a jam, amen. When you when you look at uh, uh, the new Amen. And you see uh, the, the lights of California, different places uh, where the uh, the water is disappearing at an alarming rate. Uh, 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 it is becoming a drought. Uh, that's a jam when you find uh, uh, that there are wildfires all over the nation. Uh, uh, that's a jam when you find out uh, uh, that there's violence everywhere. Uh, because Not only because of the, uh, the color of the skin, uh, but nowadays uh, uh, dealing with the political uh, 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 side of who you own, uh, that's a jam. Uh, we find ourselves in so many jams. Uh, uh, and whether it's on the streets, uh, sometimes it's found out you find yourself in a jam even in your own home. Jams are coming and 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 and, and, and uh, 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 kind of jamming people up uh, on all sides of people's lives. Uh, people are are, are, are are facing situations uh, that they thought that they would never be in. Uh, uh, they, they're finding themselves uh, in, in, in hard situations to where uh, they are they are, they're, they're, they're asking the question, what am I to do? How am I going to get out of this? What am I supposed to do to get out of this? Jane. What do you do when but you're in a jam. I'm probably talking to, to some folks today that found that that's smack down uh, in, in a jam. You find yourself that your back is against a wall. You find yourself uh, facing overwhelming uh, odds. You find yourself being overwhelmed uh, by situations that happening when you get news of one thing, amen, something else comes along, and, and then you get news of, of that, then something else comes along, and it seems as though you are overwhelmed and you are being hit from all sides, from the front, the back, the side, top, bottom, and it seems as though uh, uh, you feel overwhelmed, but uh, there's good news today uh, that God uh, uh, has, uh, has news for you, amen, that he wants you to know what to do uh, in the midst of a jam. Again, I, 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 I have sense enough to know uh, if we were to take a poll in this place this morning, I believe all of us uh, could, could, could raise our hands. Some of us would probably raise our hands and both feet Amen. And, and say that, that Pastor, I'm, I'm going through something. Amen. I, 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 uh, I, I don't know how I got to where I am, uh, but I, I found myself uh, uh, overwhelmed in some aspects, uh, and, and I don't know what to do. All of us, in some aspect in life, find ourselves in a jam. So the question becomes, what do you do when you're in a jam? What do you do when you're in a jam? Listen, God has much to say about prayer. Prayer is the most awesome weapon that God has given us. Yes, sir. Amen. But it's the most underutilized Amen. of all Amen. weapons that God has given us. Amen. The Bible has a lot to say about prayer from Genesis to Revelation. You're going to find something 
in between those pages that talks about prayer. It, it talks about prayer. It has prayers. And it, it shows people, men, women, uh, boys and girls of all ages, all economic backgrounds, every last one of them are praying and seeking the face of God. God has much to say on the, on the subject of prayer. But again, uh, at times, uh, when it comes to the church, when it comes to us as, as the body of Christ, I'm not just talking about here, but I'm talking about the, the body of Christ as a whole. Many times God has given us this privilege. Uh, he's given us his power. He's given us this, 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 uh, this, this position of prayer. And, and a lot of times we go a totally different way. So again, the question becomes, what, what do you do when you're in the jail? What do you, what do, you do when, you, when you're in the jail? What, what do you do when, you, when you're in the jail? I, I want you to ask yourself the question, what do you do? What do you do when you're in the jail? What do you do when you're in the jail? Because, uh, because a lot of times what we do is, is totally opposite of what God of what God tells us to do. So, so, so God, 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 God wants for us to know uh, with instruction, what do we do when we get in the jail? Well, first off, first thing is, uh, and it's, it's found in, in verse 12, uh, the A clause, verse 12, the A clause, the verse 12. First of all, you got to acknowledge the situation. You got got to acknowledge the situation. You got got to acknowledge the situation. It's an, uh, a Jehoshaphat that found himself uh, uh, in, 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 in the in smack dab uh, with a uh, situation that he had never thought he would be in. He found himself uh, uh, literally at war uh, with a few different nations that had joined up uh, and they were coming to attack him uh, and they were so close that uh, they had crossed the border uh, uh, to where uh, they were literally breathing down his neck. Now here's the thing. Jehoshaphat, the Bible says that he walked upright before God. He was a good king. He, he was the son of, of Asa. Asa uh, would walk, uh, walk before God. Asa uh, 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 got rid of uh, a lot of the idol gods. Uh, and Jehoshaphat followed in the steps of his father. Jehoshaphat uh, uh, reformed the whole nation, tore down a, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the, 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 the different uh, idols and things that was there. And he had done some radical things. To bring the nation back to God. As a matter of fact, Jehoshaphat, what God says that he walked uh, it's a, it's a, in the steps of David. He did. He, he did as, as David, as, as his as his forefather David did. He walked uh, walked with God. Uh, he he walked with God. But 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 Jehoshaphat found himself in a situation just like many of us. To where he found himself overwhelmed. He was literally scared because these nations came not to shake hands with him, uh, but these nations came to be at war with him and to kill him. Yeah. Have you ever been in a situation to where you have situations that come from the north, south, east, and west, uh, and they come at a rapid uh, procession uh, to where it seems like it's overwhelming to you. It seems like you get this, uh, you hear this news, and then something else come along, uh, and, and you say, God, I can't take it no more. Mm -hmm. Jehoshaphat evaluated the situation. He had to look at the situation and say, God, I can't handle this. Lord, I can't do this by myself. I, God, I, 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 this is too much for me. I, I, I can't do this. Have you ever been there? Well, you have to say, God, I, God, I, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do this. I, I'm, I, 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 God, I, 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 I'm telling you the truth, God. I'm, I'm powerless. I, I, I can't. I'm helpless. I can't. I can't do. I'm not hopeless, but I'm, I'm helpless, God. I, I can't do this on my own. I, and listen, in, in the, in the times that we're in, 
Uh, and, and this is uh, seemingly the American way. Uh, a lot of times uh, we're told uh, to put on a strong face uh, and to not to admit your weaknesses. Uh, but that's totally opposite of what God wants. Uh, because God's strength are made perfect in weakness. Uh, God does not need to help strong folks. Uh, but God helps those uh, who are weak. There's, 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 there's a, there's a, a valid lie that's out there that says this, and it's a lie from the pit of hell that God helps those who helps them, who helps them sin. That ain't nowhere in the Bible. There is, there ain't no, but it, what it, what it does say is, is, is that God helps those who cannot help themselves. God helps the weak. God helps those who are, who are for God helps those who cannot help themselves. Because if you, if you are strong enough to help yourself, then you don't need no help. If, 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 if you, if you, if you send somebody falling and you're trying to help them up, and they tell you, no, I got it, I got it. You just, you just go ahead and step on back. It's okay. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. Go on, go on. Go on. Go on. And, 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 and you, you stand there to, to, to see if, if they can get themselves up. You fold your arm. You're like, okay, I'm, I'm going to see if you're going to do this. Since, since, since you big and bad and you, and you strong, go, go on and go on and get on up. But, but, but we help those who, 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 like on the commercial says, uh, uh, help, I'm falling and I can't get up. Uh, uh, look, the, the, we used to laugh uh, at that commercial. Uh, but there's times in your life, y'all, uh, where we fall and we can't get up. Uh, but God helps us uh, to be able to, to be able to get up whenever you feel like, whenever you admit the fact that you're helpless uh, and that you need help from somebody. Uh, you can look up to God uh, and say, God, uh, I'm helpless. I'm powerless. Uh, I don't know what to do, God. You gotta tell the truth about your situation. See yeah, that? Right. That's that's why that's why some of us may be in a situation that we're in uh, because we feel like we can handle it, God. Uh, because we feel like, well, if we handle it ourselves, we're we're, we're independent. Uh, but I want you to know, I hate to bust the bubble, baby. Uh, but I want you to know uh, that you should be interdependent, uh, not independent. Uh, interdependent means uh, that you're 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 you are dependent upon God. Uh, independent means uh, that you depend on yourself. Uh, but listen, uh, you can't do this by yourself. Huh? That's things in your life that you cannot change. Huh? That's situation in your life that you cannot you cannot move. Amen. And God at times fixes it that way so that we will realize our helplessness. Because many of us we think that we got it all together. We feel like that's uh, that we pulled ourselves up our own bootstraps. On, we we feel as though that we got what we are uh, without the help of God. But but it was God that gave you the strength. Uh, it was God that gave you the health. Uh, it was God that gave you that idea. Uh, it was God that gave you everything that you. We think that we're so smart. As a uh, yeah, I came up with no. You ain't come up with nothing. God gave you that idea. God. God is a, is a giver, a giver. So you gotta tell, you gotta, you gotta acknowledge the truth. You gotta evaluate the situation. You gotta tell the truth about the if, if you're helpless, tell God. If you're helpless, tell Him. If you're powerless, tell Him. It, it, it's, 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 it's like it's like this. Like it's like you, it's like you're going to the doctor, and and you're trying to find a remedy for what you're going through. You you got some pain going on and. And and the doctor is 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 asking you, you know, tell me about you y'all you know how, how they do. Tell them about what's going on. And you tell them about what's going on and 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 they're trying to help you, he or she, and then you you tell them, uh, well, well, uh, uh, doc, I told you what, uh, I told you that, but I, I, I'm okay. I, I can handle this myself. And 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 a lot of times, uh, uh, we don't like uh, going to the doctor. We don't like going to uh, to to the medical field and things. And that's that's all right. Uh, uh, but uh, there's a, there's a doctor in heaven. Uh, uh, there's a heavenly doctor that you can go to. Uh, there's a doctor that you can go to that will, that will give you a prescription. Uh, at CVS uh, and Walgreens. Uh, and Walmart, uh, a public cannot write. Uh, it's a prescription for, for peace. Uh, uh, you can take vitamin and all that other stuff.
But none of that would help you the way that God can help you. You need to go to God and tell God all about it. You got to acknowledge the situation, but not only that, you got you to recognize your limitations. You got to recognize your, lim your limitations. You look, look at verse 12b. Look at 12b. It says, I, I did, I, A cross is our God. Uh, uh, we, we do not judge them, uh, but we have no power to face this vast army that is attacking us. Uh, uh, you got to recognize your limitation. Uh, you you got you to you admit the fact. Uh, you got to admit, listen, uh, and he says, uh, we don't know what to do. Uh, in other words, uh, he was saying, Lord, uh, I, 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 I know I have generals. Uh, I know we have an army. Uh, I know we got this and that. Uh, but he said, God, I'm scared. Uh, and I don't want any of my people uh, uh, to, to die from this. Uh. So he says, God, I don't know what to do. Uh. I don't know if you've ever been in that situation. Uh, the way you have something coming in uh, and things are going on. Uh, and you say, God, uh, I don't know what to do. Uh. But God, uh, when you admit the fact that you don't know what to do, uh, hallelujah. Uh, James 1 and 5 says this. Uh, he says, he says, uh, uh, that if you lack wisdom, let him ask for God uh, who gives liberty and not reproach. Uh. In other words, uh, James is telling us, huh? like, if you don't know what to do, go to God and ask God. Yeah. Ask God what to do. Ask God what to do. When you, when you, when you don't know what to do, when you don't know what to do, when you don't know what to do, you, you're looking for a sword. You're looking for somebody to give you some instruction. You're looking you're looking for some help. You're looking. You say, God, I don't know what to do. Huh? Uh, you, say, you, you may tell, you say, you ain't call your girlfriend uh, or, your, or your partner uh, or your friend. Uh, and you say, dog, uh, bro, I don't know what to do. Huh? And you say, girl, I don't know what to do. Huh? And we say that in the course of a conversation huh? because we're looking for some advice. Huh? We're looking for some guidance. Huh? We're looking for somebody to tell us huh? well, what to do. Huh? And I'm telling you huh, that when you tell God, huh, God, I don't know what to do. Huh? God listens. Huh? He hears you. Huh? But you have got to admit the fact that you don't know. You got to admit the fact. That means that you got to be vulnerable before God. That means that you got to be you got to be vulnerable before God. You got to you got to admit the fact. God I ain't never been through this before. God, I, I, I don't know how to I don't know how to, to deal with this. And you may have gone through it, but this may be a, uh, maybe a different thing. You're saying, God, I. I, this is this is I've gone through this before, but but this is a little. I don't know what to do. And if you don't help me, God, I'm gonna lose my mind. God, I need you. You gotta admit. You gotta admit when you don't know what to do. But you gotta always. You gotta also remember, huh? Oh, uh, you, you got you gotta remember. You gotta remember that God is a giver. Of wisdom, he's a source of what you need. You have to admit that you don't know what to do. You gotta admit the fact that you're limited and you're not. God knows everything. We know something, but God knows everything. A lot of times, y'all, we think we can handle folks, or, or we try to we try to reverse psychology and we read all these books and stuff. Uh, but 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 but. Uh, books, reading books is good. I read books and all that, uh, but 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 uh, it's a different thing uh, when you go to God. God gives you wisdom. Uh, you, you cannot use one tactic on one person uh, and and do that same tactic on somebody else. Uh, God knows people. God made made them. He knows who they are, and He will give you wisdom uh, as to how to deal with the situation. Uh, see, Jehovah could have He could have easily called the army. He could even call the general and it's a uh, 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 general so and so, uh, a similar army. Uh, uh, listen, a uh, 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 similar army. Uh, uh, send send uh, uh, a group to here. Uh, send a group to there, uh, and 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 then uh, and say, I'm I'm, a, I'm a just I'm a spout off a little prayer uh, before we go. Lord, help us, uh, help us to win the battle in Jesus' name. Boom. Then then they go. No, no. Jehoshaphat uh, knew the severity of the situation. Uh, he knew what was going on. Uh, he knew the severity uh, and the importance of this. Uh, and he said, God, we don't know what to do. Uh, so our eyes are up on you. Our eyes are up on when you recognize your limitations, when you acknowledge your situation, when you acknowledge that you got you, you realize 
You'll recognize your limitation. You acknowledge your situation. You, you, it brings me to my third point. You got to acknowledge the situation. You have got to recognize your limitation. But finally, you got to affirm where your help comes from. You got to affirm where your help comes from. Huh? Uh, look at, look at, look at, look at uh, uh, the C clause of uh, verse, uh, verse, uh, verse 12. Huh? Uh, he says, he says, we don't know what to do. That's the B clause. Huh? But the, but the, the second half that says, uh, but our eyes are on you. Huh? You got to affirm huh, where your help comes from. Huh? You got to remember huh, what God has done for you in the past. Huh? You got to remember huh, and have total recall. Huh? And remember that God huh, is the same deliverer. Huh? God is the same yesterday, huh? today, and forevermore. Huh? And God said, huh, it was uh, uh, for the matter from heaven. Huh? And God provided them uh, with the promised land. Huh? Show the God huh? can meet my needs. Huh? God huh? is all in all. Huh? And God knows what you're going through. Yeah. You got to remember what he's done in the past. You got to look up. And remember, you got to look up. You got to look up. See, so many times when we're going through things, huh, we're looking down in sorrow. Huh? We're looking down huh, in guilt. Huh? We're looking down huh, in shame. Huh? But you got to look up to God. Huh? You got to look up. Huh? Because you said our eyes huh, are up on you. Huh? When you look up, huh, it's like Psalms 21. Huh? 121 and 1. Huh? It said, I will lift up my eyes huh, to the hills huh, from which cover my help. Huh? That was the question of the and he answered the old question out. Is that my help coming from the Lord? Which made heaven and earth? You gotta look up. You gotta fix your gaze on him. So what do you do when you're in the jam? You gotta acknowledge that you gotta acknowledge the situation. You got to recognize your limitations, huh? but you got to all you got to also huh, affirm huh, where your help comes from. Huh? Your help, my help, our help. Comes from the Lord, which made heaven and the earth, and God. We affirm God. We acknowledge God. God will come on the scene, and God will step on the scene and move things out of the way and make things set to where God will do it. Let you see and know that He is God. That would be no doubt. That would be no doubt. That God is in charge. Amen. The battle is not yours. That's right. It's the Lord. Amen. What to do when you're in the jam? Acknowledge the situation. Acknowledge the fact that you're helpless. Recognize your limitations. Yes. Admit the fact that you don't know what to do. Right. And finally, affirm where your help comes from. Oh, yes. Remember that your help comes from the Lord. From the Lord. Yes. The Lord which made heaven and earth. And it's saying that there is nothing, there is nothing that you go through that God cannot bring you through. There is nothing that you go through. There ain't no lupus. There ain't no diabetes. There ain't no cancer. There ain't no arthritis. There ain't no economic reversal. There ain't no loss of job. There ain't nothing that God can bring you through. So I want you to know today, trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not to all understand, but in all your ways acknowledge him. And he will direct your path. Trust God. Continue to pray. Call unto him. And he will answer you. And show you great and mighty things. Which you know. Now the Father in the name of Jesus. We want to thank you for this word. We give you glory God today. God that you uh, let us know what to do in the jam God. We thank you Father God that. When we go through life God. We have so many things that come up oh God. And that sometimes the things are overwhelming God. But we thank you, Lord, that you show us, that you help us, you help us understand the fact, God, that you come through for us each and every step of the way, God. We give you glory today, Father, Lord, that there is no one like you. And we thank you, Father, God. Again, God, for the strength of your word, God, I ask that if someone does not know you in a part of their sins, God, if they find themselves in a jail, God, if they will call out to you, God, today, God, and that they will make you Lord of that life, oh God. And just as you saved Jehoshaphat and the children of Israel, God, you would do the same for them. And I ask that they would give their life to you today, God. That they would give their life to you today. And I think God would live, God, for you forever. We give you praise today, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for what you're doing. 
And what you want to do in, our, in the lives of, of, of the hearers today is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let me see the hands of the believers. Amen. Raise them high. Raise them high. Amen. You may you may not have been able to may not have been able uh, to uh, to raise your hand, or you may be maybe uh, watching or listening to this message. Amen. Uh, on, on YouTube, Facebook, uh, or whatever whatever uh, social media uh, platform. Uh, uh, you may you may be raising your hand. You may be saying, uh, "Bro, Pastor, I, 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 you may not have been able to raise your hand." You say, "Bro, Pastor, I, I don't know Jesus, I, and I want to know him. I, I find myself in a situation. I've tried, I try to do everything, and I, and I just can't. I can't seem to, to shake. I can't keep seem to get out. God is a deliverer. God is still able uh, to save to the utmost, uh, and He wants for you to be saved. He wants for you to have a personal relationship with Him. So I'm gonna lead you in, in a prayer, and and it, 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 you you have got to just. Just talk to him from your heart. Amen. Just talk to him from your heart. Amen. Just repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I confess that I am a sinner. I confess that I cannot save myself. I ask that you would come into my heart. That you would clean up my life. Lord, I ask that you, Lord, would sit on the throne of my heart. I believe with all my heart that you came to earth. That you live, oh God, on this earth. That you you did miracles. God, you gave your life on the cross just for me. You died just for me, God. But I thank you that you got up with all power in your hands. And I believe that you are Lord. So I ask that you would become Lord of my life. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. God, I ask that you would save me, oh God. Save me to the utmost. Save me and use me for your glory. Yeah. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, if you prayed that prayer, if you prayed that prayer, you honestly meant it. God hears you. He hears you. And the word of God says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, the word of God says that you shall be saved. So if you've given your heart to Jesus, the word of God says that you are saved. Amen. So we give God praise and honor for you. You may you may you may be a backslider. God is married to the backslider. He is married to the backslider. If you give your heart back to Jesus, let him come in. Clean up your heart. Let him clean up your heart. Let him clean out your house. To where you can be a vessel that he can use. It's in Jesus' name. We give God praise for that word. Now to him who's able to keep you from falling. And to present your faultless before the only wise God. To him be majesty, dominion, power, and praise. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.